deaf? Mike, Mike, are you deaf? Oh God, you're fucking deaf. Jesus Christ, get a fucking hole. Mike and Diamond is deaf. If you don't scream until the phone, you can't watch me go. Get a new phone. Do you need to get a new phone? You're the only one who ever has a problem hearing it. Huh. Maybe you need to have your hearing checked. Okay. I mean, rock and roll didn't give you a lot of years of your life. I'm just saying. So, what are you doing? Sorry, what? Well, I'm meeting people at the Grove to talk about this television network launch, and I thought if you could get you in the inside and it over here, we could talk to them. So, uh, I'm meeting people all afternoon, so people are floating in and out. somebody on an HBO special in 10 minutes, and then I have some other people on a global distribution deal, and then a logistics and security team, um, and some other chef, I have a lot of meetings back to back to back to back, so make whatever one you can. And yeah, at least until probably four or five, yeah. Sure, I'm up for that meeting. He said, well, he's in Italy now, but he'll be back. And as soon as he's back, he wants to take a meeting. I said, does that mean i got to fly, fly to fucking New York? He said, no, he lives right here in Beverly Hills. I said, okay, cool. Because I really do not want to fly to New York in a separate film. Okay, fuck that. So, if this all pans out, I may have an HBO series to work on if you're interested. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking red tape when you're working with people like that. What great tool? HB 
Yeah, oh, oh, absolutely. There's never been any love lost there. Uh, yeah, but it was pretty epic back then. It was like a war. Oh, absolutely. And they still are. Well, because they've kind of found their own niches. HBO's into like these epic miniseries and Showtime is doing more one-off special shit. Skinamax? Skinamax? Oh, well... Twenty of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's, that's the way it's going. Pretty soon there will be different versions of ABC, different versions of NBC as it goes more global. It's going to have to, or they're going to die as networks. Well, and NBC's kind of ahead of CBS and ABC in that game because they already have MSNBC, they have CNBCE, they have many world divisions already. Oh, fuck, Jesus Christ. Well, they might, but which fucking channel is it on? You know, they, they've got, what, 30 of them now? Well, and see, this is what we were talking about last night when we were doing the plan for this concert. We should probably, while we're launching a primary channel, we can do alternate outlet channels under the main carrier that are a premium channel that people pay for. So if they just want, like, heavy metal, grunge, rock, EDM music, that's a channel they pay a premium to get. Otherwise, they'll get it mixed in with all the other EDM on the main channel. Or if they want hip-hop, rap, um, type EDM can buy that channel specific and that actually will monetize the thing even quicker because we just take the same content and concentrate it on specific pay channels and on the free channels a mix of everything to promote the other channels so out of the box right there you can launch with like nine channels off of one primary channel and I think that's actually the way we should do it because that way we blanket the EDM market so no one else can even get traction we've already blanketed it a rock format, a pop format, a rap hip-hop format. We even talked about doing one that's classical symphony. So if people like classical music like Beethoven and Bach, you can still get it in the EDM. Now, wouldn't that be fucking crazy? No, I didn't. But wouldn't that be fucking crazy if we developed a channel with the sub-channels like that? Out of the box? I don't think that'd give MTV even time to compete in the space. Well, but the content's there. But the content's there. EDM content's already out there. Right, but we're, we're picking a niche that no one's in right now. All right, so are you going to be able to make it today or no? All right. Well, you let me know when you can meet, and if, if we can make it work, we'll make it work. But I gotta get this team put together. I said I don't have time to wait. I gotta get the team put together. So I gotta keep moving. All right, talk to you. John, can you meet over at the Grove today? I have a bunch of people meeting over here at Plan Logistics. Um, I had a few messages last night. 310 925 Well, I just said goodbye.
Dave Schultz. Dave Schultz, come up with our father. Dave Schultz. From Berlin. From the band Berlin. And the Google Dolls. Many, many more. What the fuck? Did you fall off the planet? Okay, when do you plan on returning? I keep inviting you to shit, you don't call me back. I text you stuff, you don't call me back. I call you, you don't call me back. Oh, I just thought you were being a bitch. <laughs> I said, she's a bitch. I think that or the Illuminati guy scared the fuck out of you when you talked to him and put me on the phone. The, the guy, uh, the Freemason guy. I need to calm down. Hey, he should see the fucking text and then we'll see who should calm down. I wasn't the one making the threatening text. Only, 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 only did. Only, only. What a fuckwad he is. They still have not given me back the footage. They still have two days of my footage. Those cunts. 
I'm going to rectally fuck them with a lawsuit and my foot up their ass. Yeah. So, when are we getting together and hanging? Because I have, like, shit going on all the time, and I text you and you don't respond, so I've given up on that. Yeah, okay, whatever. Get over it. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and like, I'm not busy. Obviously, you haven't been looking at my Facebook pages. Yeah, okay. I'm, like, doing 14 things every night. Somebody's got to. Well, I, <laughs> well, maybe we're doing some of the same shit. What's your shit? I have not, I have not been able to get into that series. I've watched bits of both, and I'm kind of like, yeah, boring. I just, I'm not into that game until you die shit. Oh, you actually read the book? See, unless somebody's paying me, I'm not reading their fucking book. (laughs) Sorry, I do enough reading. I don't need to do extracurricular activities in reading. <laughs> I, well, if they want to pay me to be the voice of it, I'll read it. <laughs> Otherwise, not interested. So I have a guy I'm meeting with um, who wants me to produce and direct uh, a series on HBO. And it's going to be all about, like, the 30s, 40s, 50s. And major stars of that era. It's all, like, you know, uh, Errol Flynn and Marilyn Monroe and, and uh, Betty Davis, etc. Oh, I'm thinking this is going to be fucking epic if we can come to terms on it. My question is, what old celebrity from the 30s, 40s, 50s could you portray that would make sense? Is there someone that you could portray? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, we do your research and I'll find out who some of them are, but I know that those are some of the celebrities he spoke of off the top of his head when we were talking. Uh, I'm thinking 30s even through the 60s um, would probably be safe because um, he, he brought up Errol Flynn and Errol Flynn was what, like the 30s, wasn't he? So... And that he was also bringing up people like uh, Marilyn Monroe, which goes into the 60s. So um, he's still alive today. This is his life story of all these parties and celebrities as an actor and as a news reporter that he hung with over the years of all the Hollywood secrets. And so I think it's going to be a freaking cool series, one. And, and two, if we can get you prepping for a role, you get a leg up over everybody. See, there are reasons you should hang with me because I have cool stuff going on. Na 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 goo na 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 goo Like if you were with me right now, you'd be sitting down and meeting with me and the writer of the whole series. And you could convince him why he wants to write a part in for you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm literally going downstairs to meet him. I'm 10 minutes late. I'm meeting him at the Cheesecake Factory here at the Groves. So if you want to pop over, it'll be at least an hour or so, maybe longer. Oh, you poor sweaty baby. You have fun on your treadmill. And when you're done with your treadmill, maybe when you clean your ass up, if you want to hook up, I'm meeting with some other people on a television network where it launches. What after you get over it? Do you want to watch movies or do you want to make money? Aha. Uh-huh. Well, I'm talking about making money, see? I had the right, I had the right question. can do whatever you want. You're an adult. You're allowed to move about the country now. Well, I'm checking them 
All right, I got to grab this, darling. I'll talk to you soon. Call me when you get.